So guys, at number one we have Prywood Village, which most of you will probably know. But um, for you guys that didn't play Vanilla WoW or Burning Crusade for that matter or everything before the Cataclysm event, this town used to be really really cool. Because the people that lived here in the daytime, they were just normal people. And at night they turned into werewolves. So there is still some uh, of the evidence left of it. Because if you see the, the fireplace and the scary buildings and it's just uh, there's a, a lot of cool paintings. So this is really definitely something to check out. It's really cool. So um, yeah, that's why this uh, is in my top 10. Okay, at number 2 we have the Slugged Fields. So, this one is also a bit weird, uh, not saying the least, but uh, from the moment you walk in here you have something like, what the hell is this? And it already shows like, uh, when you go on those fields here, you see these people sticking out of the ground with their heads and it's just not okay. Now when you walk further, see that there's gulls like patrolling here with a pitchfork I bet there were before there were just um, farmers and you have all these strange things okay. Okay. like this is um, very disturbing so that's why this is in my top two of scary places. So at number three we have Karazhan Crypts, which you cannot just enter like that. You have to use uh, some kind of glitch to get in there. I have actually a video of that on my channel, so uh, you can watch that one. And um, yeah, this one is really really cool. It's like the people hanging upside down, and uh, yeah, it's really cool with all the chains of that and the, the music with it is also really cool so uh, that's why this is in my top 10 okay guys number 4 on the list we are currently in Westfall where these uh, yeah what's, what's the name these gnolls these uh, river power brutes <coughs> are and uh, it's actually about these camps here uh, they have a human face in it, so that's something really cool, I think. And uh, it is quite disturbing, actually. So, yeah, that's why this is my number four. At number five, we have the Ruins of Lordran, which is really, really cool because you can uh, you can hear all the sound and uh, all the cheering when you enter the, these halls. And you can also hear the conversation between uh, Arthas and his father uh, right before he killed them. So that's really cool. So at number 6 we have the Graveyard of Brill, that, which is uh, very close to the Undercity. And uh, this one is really special to me actually, because um, yeah, I used the level here back in Vanilla. And uh, just everything about this place is just kind of creepy. Um, in Vanilla it was even more creepy, because those buildings have a lot of light, and back in the day it was not the case. That the town had like a really undead kind of feeling um, and everything about it was, was just 
spooky. It was just uh, really, really cool. The architecture now is like real cool and modern and a lot of light and back in the day it was totally not. So uh, yeah, just everything about this graveyard is really, really cool. You have like this, these signs everywhere and then uh, this is also really cool. This is still the same as I remember it from years ago, so it doesn't actually do much, but yeah, just this. So yeah, that's why this is uh, on my uh, top 10 list, number 6. So, at uh, number 7 now, um, we are in Crystal Ladies now, and um, most people look, don't actually notice these things, but uh, there are corpses hanging from the uh, hanging from the trees here, which is actually really cool. I'm just gonna zoom in, and they look actually really, really strange. Um, there's one over here as well, one uh, with a noose around his neck, and just pay attention when you when you pass by here. It's uh, actually really cool. I'm standing over there because. I'm using my Eye of Kill Rock, so yeah. So that's at uh, number seven for me. So at number eight, you're probably wondering why are we in. So we're now at number eight, and you are probably wondering why we are in Gilneas. Well, uh, I have actually leveled a character here, and um, in a, when, when you level here, you don't actually watch at these buildings, you just want to level really fast, but just watch the windows left and right, especially on the right you will see like uh, a figure appear once in a while behind the windows, which is really cool So guys, at number 9 is Alcas Island and this is really close to, uh, what's it called again, Dust Wallow Marsh, yeah, I believe so, and it's probably, I don't know if it is a reference to the island Alcatraz, prob it probably is, and uh, I'm just gonna show it to you, it is really really cool. <laughs> And then these are gates. And over here you have the stairs that lead all the way down. It's really cool with uh, the vines hanging down down the ceiling. That's really cool. And uh, also a bunch of torture devices. Yeah, cool. I've not actually been all the way down here. It's a long time ago since I've been here. Ah, I think this was... Yeah, yeah, it still is here. I'm going to go there in a second. Just going to see what's here. Oh, some more torture devices. Some skeletons. I really love this about World of Warcraft. Yeah, the underground zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at number 10 we have the guy that died while fishing. Um, he actually got stabbed from the view here, so there's a sword in his crotch, so it seems. So, he's dead and his bait is still living, so that's really cool. He had some booze with him as well and the chair, so... I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but there is like a plane down there. There should be a corpse around here somewhere. So I don't know if that relates to anything 
those two corpses but it's just like really really weird and uh, I just wanted this this one in my top 10 so there 